it feel like the Rockets, does it feel like they lost more than just game five? Does it feel like they blew their chance at this series? That this might have been the turning point. Yeah. That, uh, it, it does feel that way because, look, if you can't beat the Spurs with a gimpy Kawhi Leonard, no Tony Parker, Manu Ginob Ginobili is out there, 175 years old. If you can't, if you can't beat them under these circumstances, when will you? Now, granted, at home, <laughs> maybe Game Seven. Maybe, but look, I don't know why any of us are ever surprised by anything the Spurs do. But that was that was such a classic Spurs victory, mm -hmm. uh, given like Manu Ginobili making all the right plays that he needed to make, reminding us uh, of the player he was when he was in the prime of his career, mm -hmm. the defense they you played. Do that again? I think it's I possible. Mean, I bet against him, I mean, but that look, was a, that was a hell of a game. I think the Spurs to win the series. Great. Exactly. I didn't see it unfolding the way that it has. Right. But it, w why would I doubt them now? All right. For whatever it's worth, which is not much, I had Rockets in seven. You did. Which means they weren't going to win Game Five. <laughs> right. Which means that the, the, the series is so right, it's on, right course. on course. So what you thought everybody was on be. television today has been talking about how much blame is on James Harden. The answer mm -hmm. is a lot. You yeah. know, you're the star player, despite the fact that you had to carry a bigger load defensively as well as your usual load offensively. He didn't show up in overtime. So yes, that's on him. But moving on, he now has an opportunity back at home if those three starts fall, start falling even with a seven man rotation Houston could win game six I mean look did we not but maybe not you I think we would well, maybe not even me I don't remember they all run together but how many people overreacted to the Spurs getting blown out in game one look at the Everybody complexion did. look at this the, the turns that the yeah. series has taken to this point so you win game six who knows what condition Kawhi Leonard is in and then we'll cross game seven's bridge when we get to it yeah I do think him being compromised uh, that certainly makes me slightly nervous about my pick but at the same time look the Spurs they're really good at getting contributions from the right people at the right times and I know that's not the most uh, I know I know that's not exactly a brainiac statement to yeah, me sure. but this is this is what they do yeah. okay so to borrow a Rockets phrase they got the heart of a champion yeah, they absolutely do and I'm yeah. I'm not going against pop I'm not going against uh, what this group has been able to do and accomplish together I, I think they'll get enough of Kawhi over the course of the rest of the series in order to close out the Rockets. I guess I'm just saying when it comes to whether or not they blew it. They missed an opportunity. That they blew it. That they, there's no well, way they can. They didn't. That there's no way they can beat the Spurs <laughs> oh, yeah. twice in a row. They don't have to. You know, they right. both got to win Game Seven. Right. That's the big misnomer about seven-game series.